Seth Money right, Brown, Mary, Mary Smith Jr. That boy Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> yeah. What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? This is your boy Money back with another one, fam. This one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We got the legendary Canelo Alvarez, the hottest fighter on the planet, the number one pound for pound king, the four division world champion, and the undisputed super middleweight world champion, looking to be the greatest Mexican fighter of all time and one of the greatest to ever lace him up. And then we have Victor Ortiz, the former WBC welterweight world champion. You know, and Victor is somebody that fought some of everybody in this fight game. But Victor Ortiz has came out, everyone, and he said he wanted to come back in this in, in this fight game, and he said he wants Canelo Alvarez. Victor Ortiz, or should I say Victor Vicious Ortiz, somebody who I did like coming up in this fight game. Vic, like I say, had a very, very fan-friendly style and um, was once scheduled to fight Canelo Alvarez, Vic. Yeah, you were. You were once scheduled to fight Canelo Alvarez, but you let Jose Cito Lopez break your damn jaw, break your damn jaw, and take your opportunity to fight Canelo at 154 pounds, right? But of course, you would want Canelo Alvarez because you know that's a big time fight. You know what I mean? It's a big money fight, and Canelo is the king of boxing right now, bro. And you want that opportunity because you felt like you deserved the opportunity, and you let it slip. You got to fight Floyd Money Mayweather. Um, we all know what happened in that fight. Your head butted him, and he took you out. But when you're talking about this killer right here in Canelo Alvarez, the most disciplined man in boxing right now today, the legendary Canelo Alvarez, right? You're pushing the limit, Victor. You're pushing the limit, bro. Like I say, you almost had an opportunity to fight Canelo. Canelo wanted to fight you. I wanted to see that fight. I had Canelo Alvarez punishing your ass. I'm talking about punishing. I'm talking about, man, probably making you retire from the sport of boxing. He was going to do you so dirty. You understand what I'm saying? Canelo was going to do this man so fucking dirty, and I wanted this fight so bad. But right now, you're nowhere near Canelo status. You're nowhere near Canelo fight. You're not a draw anymore, right? And I don't even think Canelo would be looking your way to even face you, Vic. I don't even think Canelo would even be looking your way to even face you, bro. You, you know you is. You know, you probably respect you for what you did in the sport. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, you fought some of everybody, bro. Andre Berto, um, um, Floyd Money Mayweather, Marcos Madonna, Devin Alexander, who I thought you lost to. You know what I mean? Lost to Jose Cito Lopez. Like, your resume is solid, bro. Your resume is solid. Lamont Peterson, like, man... The resume of Victor Ortiz is fucking solid, and I respect Victor Ortiz. But one thing about Victor Ortiz, he has no heart. You know what I mean? The trigger has no heart. The trigger, the trigger, the trigger. Like Vic will get dropped. He will stay down. He will find ways out. Um, like I say, when, when, when Jose Cito Lopez broke his jaw, um, his corner tried to tell him not to go quit the fight, but he still quit it. Like, I, I don't knock him for that. Like, what can you do with a fucking broken jaw? But we all know that when things get tough and rough for you, Victor, you know, you head on out the door, my brother. You really do head on out the door. That mindset with with, with that type of, you know, heart in you, and you talking about stepping up to the plate and fighting this king right here in Canelo Alvarez because he is sitting on the throne, cut it out, Vic. Cut it out. Like I said, man, I wanted to see Victor Ortiz versus Canelo Alvarez back in the days, right? Victor Ortiz was doing this thing, bro. He's one of the hottest fighters in the game. He's one of the most exciting fighters in the game. You know what I mean? He brought a fight to you, right? Fan friendly. It's, it, you can't say you saw a boy with Victor Ortiz fight. Maybe his last couple of fights was kind of lackluster, but you can never say you really saw a boring Victor Ortiz fight. We all know the wars with Andre Berto, him, him dropping Berto, Berto dropping him, then him dropping Berto, then him dropping Berto, then Berto dropping him. Y'all yeah, get what I'm talking about. The boys just knocking each other out in, in, in that goddamn fight, slugfesting. So the shit was very entertaining, bro. Very, very entertaining. And Canelo wanted this fight, bro, and I wanted it, bro. But you slept up. You let my mans catch you with that hook with your mouth open. That's why they always tell you, keep your mouth open when you're fighting everybody. You know what I mean? 
That's a cardinal rule in boxing. You don't fight with your fucking mouth open, bro, because why? You end up with a broken jaw. And that's what Victor Ortiz got, bro. You understand? But my thing is, you got a long way to go, my brother, before getting a fight with Canelo Alvarez. A long way to go. And I, I like me, just knowing a boxing game right now, the weight class that you're fighting in and the things that Canelo Alvarez is doing, listen, bro, give it up. Like, come back and try to make you some money, right? Come back in a weight class that fits you. Because Canelo's going to like heavyweight. He's going to like heavyweight. You probably can max out at 168. Probably. You feel me? But you're not going to no fucking light heavyweight fucking with Canelo Alvarez. And if you was to make it to 168, you ain't getting past no David Benavidez. You ain't getting past no Jamal Cholo. You ain't getting past no Kaden Plant. You ain't getting past no Andrade. You know what I'm saying? You got, like, work to do, man. You have work to do. I really thought you lost to Devin Alexander. I think the whole world thought you lost to Devin Alexander, bro. And they call it a draw. So, Vic, listen, I know you you believe in yourself. You're supposed to believe in yourself. It don't matter what Monty Brown talking about. I know you might hear this video and say, what the fuck do that kid know? He don't know what the fuck he's talking about. But I do know what Canelo is. And I do know that Canelo is an animal. And I do know that Canelo is a savage. And I do know what Canelo would do to you inside that square circle. Somebody that don't have a whore that's looking for another payday. And I do know the road that it's going to take for you to get to a Canelo Alvarez. And the, the, the lineup is so deep. And the lineup is so strong that you won't be able to hold your own. I'm going to repeat this. The lineup is so deep. And the lineup is so strong. That Victor Ortiz won't be able to hold his own. You understand what I'm saying? You're not making it no 9 to 10 rounds with Canelo Alvarez. You probably don't make it 5 to 6 rounds with Canelo Alvarez, Vic. Like, let's be real, bro. You're not taking Canelo power, right? Once you do feel the power, you go bitch up. I'm telling you right now. Once you feel Canelo Alvarez power, you're going to bitch up, bro. Floyd Mayweather was breaking you down, breaking you down, breaking you down, down. And you had to resort to head buzz, talking about he was elbowing you. Quit that goddamn line, dude. That man wasn't elbowing you. That man was just beating your ass, breaking you down, bro. And you knew it was only a matter of time before he knocked you out. Yeah. Floyd Money Mayweather at the welterweight division where people call him Pillow Fisted Floyd, right? He was on his way of knocking you out. And you look for a way out. And once you got into the corner and you looked that way and Floyd knocked your ass out, you dropped your hands and you let him do it. And everybody tried to blame um, Jose Cortez. Where's the ref? Where's the ref? And then you go back in your locker room and talk about, I didn't lose for not one fucking second. Not for one fucking second did I lose that fight. Boy, your ass lost that fight. Your ass got dropped in that fight. And your ass wasn't getting any rematch. You feel me? Like Floyd said, if the fans want to see it again, we can do it again. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I'm going to let you talk to Victor Ortiz. You know why? Because you don't never show me no respect. Oh, uh, what do you mean I'll show me no You don't know shit about boxing. HBO need to fire you. They need to fire your ass. You know what I mean? We all know the, the infamous Floyd Mayweather and Larry Merchant. If I was 20 years younger, I'll kick your ass. You won't do nothing. You won't do shit. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, man, when I look at Victor Ortiz come out saying he want Canelo Alvarez, we all know that this is a payday. We all know that everybody want the money grab. And I tell y'all, when Canelo is the hottest fight on the planet, everybody want to fight fucking Canelo. From the goddamn bantamweights to the heavyweights. From the retired fighters to the washed up fighters. You feel me? Like, man, Canelo is just running this game, bro, to where everybody want a piece. Everybody want a piece. And I think Victor Ortiz think he's obligated because, like I say, he once had an opportunity to fight Canelo Alvarez that he let slip. It don't work like that no more, Vic. You not with Golden Boy no more, Vic. That shit is over with, Vic. Canelo is not with Golden Boy no more, Vic. Canelo's on a whole different level, bro. Whole different level. He's running the game, my brother. He's running the game. And he's looking for history. He's looking for history. Not fighters that are history. He's looking to make history. You understand what I'm saying? Victor Ortiz, your name is history. You know what I mean? He want to make history. And you ain't nowhere, you know, on that level right now. Nowhere on that level. Canelo looking at the um, light heavyweight division. 
He looking at becoming undisputed at the light heavyweight division. He looking at the cruiserweight division. He looking at becoming the five division world champion at the cruiserweight division. Right? And after that, he looking at taking out some of these boys that they trying to say that he's ducking to prove a point that these boys can't fuck with him. You understand what I'm saying? On no level. No level. You feel me? And Vic, you just to be a a, a, a end in a row, my brother. A end in a row. You'll be slowing down what Canelo want to do. You feel me? You know better than having the your dream. I'm going to say it again. Victor Ortiz, you are no better than Avni your dream. You'll just be a knockout on the record, and then we'll have to listen to all these motherfuckers talking about, why is Canelo fighting Victor Ortiz? Victor Ortiz is a washed-up bum. He's cherry-picking. Wow, he picked Victor Ortiz. This man ain't fought in so long, and Canelo went for him because he's scared of Andrade. He's scared of Charlo. He's scared of Benavidez. He's scared of Betterby. He's scared of Bivu. We ain't got time for that shit, Vic. We're dealing with enough of that shit already, man. We're dealing with enough of this hating ass shit on Canelo already. So what I need you to do, Victor Ortiz, is get the hell out the way, right? Go try to fight a Keith Thurman. Go try to fight an Andre Berto. You know what I mean? Go go revenge yourself against Jose Cito Lopez. How about that? How about that? That's a good fight for you. Go revenge yourself against Jose Cito Lopez, who's about to fight on Keith Thurman undercourt in February. You dig what I'm saying? So he's more relevant than you. More relevant than you. You did? Get off of Canelo nuts, man. Stop screaming Canelo name, man. You're not getting that fight. You're not getting it. You don't deserve it. We don't want to see it. Canelo don't want it. Nobody wants it, Vic. Nobody wants it. You feel me? Now, you look like a cool dude. Like I say, I rock with you a little bit. I, I, I did enjoy watching you fight back in the days, right? But you're not that anymore, my brother. You're not that anymore. And I know this is your profession. And I'm not I'm never gonna tell you to hang them up and not get a check. You can go get a check. It just won't be a Canelo check. But you can go get a check, bro. But please leave Canelo name out your mouth talking about you want Canelo Alvarez. We're dealing with enough trolls already. We don't need no more. We don't need no more. We don't need your name in the mix and people trying to say, oh, Canelo probably go fight Victor Ortiz next. You know what I'm saying? We don't need that, Vic. You feel me? Save my dude the hassle. Please. Save my dude Canelo the hassle, bro. Move on. Go fight somebody from welterweight to, to super middleweight and stop thinking about Canelo because you're not in his plans, not even a little bit. Shouts out to you. I wish you all the best. Hell of a fighter. Enjoy your career. No Canelo fight. Shouts out to my guy Canelo. Keep doing what you're doing, King. Go become a five division world champion. Become undisputed at the light heavyweight division. Become the greatest Mexican fighter of all time and one of the greatest to ever lace him up. And then move on to your second career champ. Until then, this your boy Monty. This is the NSBC moving and everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Money on Cash App. Trey Hamp to 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend, hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.